Craig.
it's not so much do they know the tune or anything. You want them to get the experience of just playing notes on the instrument. It's not so much that it has to be the most correct sound or anything like that, because they're discovering the music at the same time. And in jazz, especially in improvisational nature, um, maybe not everybody feels this way, but I certainly do. Uh, it's good for them to feel and feel what that sounds like instead of me telling them, okay, play this note, play that note, you know? They need to make decisions on their own. They need to learn to make those decisions on their own. Just like as we become adults, we have to make decisions on our own. We don't always have people telling us what to do. It's not that they don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are going to play uh, Blue Blossom. All right. You're just going to play the, the A blues scale. See, remember we've been working on that for the last couple weeks? All right. So when it's your time to solo, you're going to play some notes that you like. Mr. Greg doesn't have to tell you to play. Play whatever you want. <laughs> right? See? It's all cool up in here, right? Bingo, bingo. It's not like back in back in the day. What are you doing? I'm gonna throw a chair at you. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with a little um, we're gonna jam on for a while on the C minor. Thank you. 
I mean, Duke Ellington actually had a hit off of this. It only has two notes in it, <laughs> although he made a big band composition off of it. It's a great tune for uh, anybody just getting into playing improvisation or if it's that fourth set and it's two o'clock in the morning <laughs> and you ain't got no more chops left. <laughs>
Thank you.
Likewise.